Welcome to the last episode of this series. In this video we will learn about animation making in D5 render. Click on the video icon in the upper right corner to enter the video tab. Here for clip 1, add the first camera shot, and add another one after moving the camera forward in the scene. Then a simple animation is done. Hit the play button to preview the clip. And you can set the interval time here to make the video longer or shorter as you like. D5 has enabled character movement with the path tool, but for character models placed otherwise, you would need keyframe animation to get them moving in the scene. It's quite easy. In the first shot, place the model where you want it to be, select it, and you'll see the model info on the right, click on, add keyframe, turn on rate matching. Next step, go to the second shot, move the model to another spot, and there's no need to add keyframe here, because D5 will identify the change and automatically form a keyframe animation for you. Play the clip, and the character is walking now. When deciding the distance that the character should cover, remember to take into consideration how long this scene takes in the whole video. Remember to take a look at all the characters and make sure they are placed in a natural and logical way. Here I notice two of them that look quite similar, so I'll make some adjustments to tell them apart, select one of them, go to inspector, edit the offset parameter, so that the character animations will not coincide. Feel free to play with the camera as you like or according to client's requests to make an amazing architectural animation. When all the clips are ready, set the resolution and format for them, and then add them to the render queue, so that you can select all these clips for batch rendering. That completes this architectural series of courses. Hope you learned from us and look forward to seeing your projects made with D5. See you soon.